Hello, I'm Bobby White, Instructional Designer at CCA, and I'm here to show you what you need to know to get started building your Moodle course. First, navigate to moodle.cca.edu, and here you'll find on the landing page um, announcements, as well as a big blue login button. Uh, when you click login, you're going to recognize uh, the screen for putting in your CCA credentials, and then you will land on the dashboard. For Moodle. So on the dashboard, we have additional announcements to check out, as well as a list of the latest news, which is what you see on that uh, previous landing page. You can even subscribe to these. Uh, down here, you'll see a block called resources, and we have all kinds of links to various library resources, as well as a link to the Moodle archive. That's the previous Moodle we had. It's got all of your courses safely intact. Over here, you'll find your courses. So these are gonna be all the courses that you're enrolled in, probably as an instructor. Uh, this is also where students will see their courses and um, we, they're now listed as, as cards and you can add an image to represent your course. You'll also notice which courses are hidden from students right now. That will now be highlighted for you so that um, it's very clear. I'll show you where you can go to uh, show or publish your site for students. So let's go into a sample new course. This is what your course looks like when it's brand new. Um, you're given the announcements tool and about six sections for topics. Um, you can change these. You can have more sections, fewer sections. You can um, go back to the more traditional weekly format if you'd like, uh, but the default now is topics. And to get started, um, you might want to check out your uh, settings. So the edit settings is about the settings for the whole course. When I go into edit settings, um, I can do things like show my course. I could change the start date. This is relevant if you're using the weekly uh, format. Course summary doesn't show anywhere, so just leave this box blank. Uh, but here is where you can put in your new course image. That's the one that will show on the card we saw before. If you've got an image ready um, on your desktop or something, you can simply drag and drop it into this box. And there it is. Uh, you can change your course format here. Under appearance is where you'll find the setting for gradebook. By default, we hide the gradebook book from students until you're ready, until you have the gradebook set up. You probably want to leave this hidden. Um, but that's where you can then show it to them when you're ready. Uh, those are the key settings. Always come down to the bottom and click Save and Display. And the next step is going to be to start putting some uh, content on your page. Whenever you're adding content or activities, you're going to go into Turn Editing On. So I'm going to turn Editing On, and you'll see that these extra little editing icons have appeared. Now, that's how you know you're in the editing mode. And you can do things like grab your syllabus off your desktop um, as a PDF and drag and drop it onto the page. Wait for it. Sometimes it will take a moment. And you'll even see the icon there uh, shows you that that file is a PDF. You can drag almost any file onto Moodle. Um, I can add an image, so I can drag and drop an image. And when I drag and drop an image or media, it will ask me, well, do you want this media to show on the page, embedded on the page, or do you want it to be a link to a resource? Uh, so in this case, we're going to um, embed it right on the page. And then if I decide, I actually wanted this image down here I can grab it by what's called the handlebar icon, and I can bring it down to a different topic. Let's say topic four, that's where it landed. Okay, and then if I want to um, move on from uh, dragging and dropping content and I want to actually add some activities, this is where I'm gonna go. Add an activity or resource. And there's one of these links available in every single one of these topics. You click on add an activity or resource, and you have the long list of activities. Um, there's a couple new ones that we didn't have turned on before. Um, and then you also have resources. So I'm just going to talk about a couple of these. Um, assignments are really common. Uh, of course, an assignment is um, uh, the assignment tool. 
allows students to actually upload uh, files to Moodle um, and then allows you to, depending on the type of file, to annotate it, give comments, uh, give feedback, of course, give a grade if you're doing that. Um, uh, there's due dates, things like that. The attendance tool uh, makes it very easy to take attendance. I don't know necessarily how this is going to work in our uh, teaching online environment, but um, there is an attendance tool there. Uh, there's a chat tool. There's the ability to survey students. It's called feedback, but it's the way that you can survey students. Uh, there's a quiz tool if you need to do any quizzing. Um, and there's a new plugin for Zoom meetings. So you can just add this activity onto the page and it will actually set up a Zoom meeting for you. And then down in the resources section are ways that you can build your content differently on the page instead of just dragging and dropping. Maybe you want a folder full of content or maybe you want to do a book format. Um, you can create additional pages on your Moodle page. Uh, the most commonly used uh, feature here is the label resource. Um, I like to joke that this is mislabeled because it's not a label at all. In fact, what it does is create a text editor box for you, which um, oop, it still had my cash from before. Um, so a text editor box and I can type text right onto the page this way. This is also how I can um, uh, add uh, picture, more pictures. I can add videos this way. I can even add um, HTML if I have that. Uh, I can now do two things that weren't here before, which is record audio or record video. Um, and I'm very excited about this because the fact that this is in the text editor tool, it means it's available throughout Moodle. So it's available for students. It's available for you when you're grading their assignments, you'll be able to leave audio feedback now. Very exciting. Uh, but this will show right on the page. So I just wanna show you that. Save and return to course. And <clears throat> here's the text displaying right on the page for us. So I'm gonna come out of um, editing mode by turning editing off. And uh, you always wanna do that while you're building out your site, especially if you're trying to do some visual work because um, uh, it, when it's in editing mode, it'll actually show things truncated and it'll look funny. So just come out of editing mode to see what it's going to look like for the student. So that text is right on the page. Um, let's see, I'm going to hop over to um, a more complete course. So this demo course already has um, a lot of content in it. It's got an, the announcements we saw before, the attendance tool, a syllabus, readings, lecture, then you start to see the different uh, topics per class, lecture, um, a group of images, an assignment, a discussion forum. There's a little intro quiz. So you can see how this content starts to lay on the page. Um, there's even the introduction of images. Uh, video can be embedded right on the page, that kind of thing. Um, and I want to show you how um, an assignment works. So if I click on Click on this assignment, I can see that um, one student has turned a paper in. So let's go look at that paper. I'm going to view all submissions, find the student that's ready for grading, and I'm going to click the blue button for grade. And I'm going through this rather quickly. There's all kinds of things you can do when you're grading. Um, oh, and my uh, previous annotations were already here, but um, we can we can delete these, so you can delete annotations, but uh, this is just to show you how you might want to highlight on some text, you might want to draw. Um, and you can also come over to the right here and do, you know, typed overall comments. Um, and what I was talking about before, you can leave an audio comment or a video cam comment, um, but you could leave your typed comments here maybe a grade, if you're grading, and then you can save changes and you can choose whether to notify the students or not. There's a lot in the assignments tool, um, but that's just to give you an idea. I'm gonna pop back over to the home page here. And um, that's about it for getting started. Those are the key uh, tasks. 
Of course, we have a lot of help documentation on the portal, which walk you through all of these different tools we're talking about. Um, and the help desk is always available for questions and you could even request a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Okay, thanks for watching.